Megan, we know that LinkedIn has become, besides professional associates, become like more connection and more knowing each other. Uh, thoughtful leaders are posting, job seekers are posting, I am posting there. So what, how can job seekers use LinkedIn or the LinkedIn profile itself? How can make take it differentiate or make it attractive to uh, recruiters? I'd say first and foremost, have a point of view. You know, uh, I see LinkedIn, especially if you're searching for a job as being an active um, platform versus a passive platform. So, you know, the folks that catch my attention and I, I've seen several of them where, you know, they've got the little circle around their profile picture that says, you know, open to work, um, but they're posting regularly and they're posting really thoughtful, interesting ideas. They're not just sitting around waiting for work to come. They're, they're researching and they're having an opinion about, mm -hmm whatever it is, remote work or social justice or climate change or whatever, but you're really, you know, you're putting yourself out there as a thought leader, um, as someone who's engaged and connected, as someone who is proactive. I mean, employers want that. Employers want to see your personality. They want to see your passion. You can start talking about what you value. You can start, you know, making this name for yourself and you can point to that, right? Um, and you'll find, you'll attract those kind of like-minded folks and you'll probably attract people at companies that have similar you know values as you where you can really land and and that appreciate you for who you are yeah and there's also on linkedin there's the button called follow you can follow top leaders see what they're posting or follow companies you are interested interact with their posts and sometimes i hear that recruiters will reach out to you that you are interacting with us so you know, and maybe they will even, I heard some people get jobs because they are being very active and interactive with the companies they are very much interested in. Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, once you've figured yourself out, you know, your values, you know what you're looking to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good to share that. And, and it can be a little nerve wracking and you're like, who yeah. cares? Why are people <laughs> reading this? What does it matter? But, you know, just, I mean, write for yourself, write what's important to you and put it out there. And then, you know, I think you're going to attract like-minded folks. Yeah, because recruiters will check you out first time if you are on a short list. They will check your LinkedIn profile to see your yes. thoughts, your ideas, you know, that will help you. Every time. When I, when I get a resume and write, so we talked about having a good cover letter and we talked about um, having a really personalized executive statement. I, first thing I do is go to LinkedIn <laughs> And if they're not active, you know, they don't even have their profile picture up there. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to see who you are. I want to get to know. I mean, in this day and age and technology and the way that we're interacting with each other in this virtual environment, have a nice up-to-date picture. I mean, yeah, that's start important. there and then, yeah, post and comment and like, and you really build um, a good picture of who you are there. Yeah, those are great tips. Thank you, Megan, again. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job seekers using the LinkedIn profile, please leave comments below and tune in next time for my final question with Megan.